Hey everyone, how is it going? Hope you're doing really well as usual. It is currently Saturday and Saturday is a great day and I'm very excited for that. It's also the day to film YouTube videos. Yes. <laughs> when you're watching this, it's probably not going to be Saturday, so it sucks to be you. <laughs> Um, anyways, today I wanted to talk about how I came to believe in the afterlife. It all started, <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad how it all started. Well, I, first I had this religious experience where I came to believe in God. And then I was, this is the bad part, I was recommended a video on YouTube. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this is the bad part. And <laughs> it was titled The Near-Death Experience of, uh, I don't know, John Doe. It doesn't really matter who it was. I guess I'll link them down below. Um, before we do that, I want to let you know that you should subscribe. You should hit that notification bell. And you should definitely like this video because it's going to be a pretty interesting one, I think. And you should definitely follow me for more content on here. I'm also on TikTok, Maria Shablin 3 so follow me on there. I'm also on Instagram. Most of you are on my YouTube channel from Instagram, so I don't really think I have to link it, but I'm going to link it anyway. Shabstick, S-H-A-B-S-T-I-C-K. And I'm also on... Where else am I on? Spotify. I have a podcast. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a podcast on Spotify. It's called Maria Shablin. So check it out. It's just my name. Same here on YouTube. Hi, Maria from the future interjecting here. It's actually called The Death of a Rug, and it's by Maria Shablin. So just thought you wanted to know. Bye. Uh, my camera is about to die, which is not a good thing at all. Let's see if I can get through this video without it dying. Yeah, so how did I come to believe in the afterlife? I was recommended a YouTube video, and it was about a near-death experience. And I found this really compelling and just amazing. I'm pretty open-minded after my religious experience, so I was like taking in everything that I possibly could. And that was one of the things that I took in and came to take as truth. Although many people would be like, that's just baloney that people die and come back to life and see all this stuff but anyway, people die and come back to life. And during that time when they're not alive, <laughs> when they've passed on, they go through this amazing experience. First of all, they, the common thing that I've seen throughout all of them is that they rise above their body and they can see everything that's playing down below them. So they can see their body and if they're in a hospital because they maybe got into an accident or something happened where they're at the hospital, they see all the nurses and doctors running around them and they hear, it's very auditory as, as well as visual, they hear all of the things that the doctors are saying and the nurses. So when they come back from this experience, they actually have some sort of proof, even though people don't believe them. They're like, I heard you say this. I saw you do that. And they're like, how could you possibly know this if you were not here, if you were gone from this existence? So I thought that was pretty cool. That's something that a lot of people with these near-death experiences have in common. Also, what they have in common is seeing these beautiful, like, visuals like going through this beautiful tunnel where there's light at the end and then looking at the stars and then seeing these beautiful beings and I just from all of that like researching all these near-death experience videos and watching them and enjoying them thoroughly thinking they're beautiful and mystifying I realized that life is an illusion we're all just actors playwrights, <laughs> producers, directors in our own movie here on this plane that we call life. We're all just living here temporarily. It's your body is this ephemeral thing. It's it's transitory. It's not here forever. Your soul is the thing that's eternal and going to live on about forever and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I guess don't take life too seriously. Don't get caught up in the illusion. We're all just here temporarily and it's all, it's not fun and games because there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong in life and does go wrong in life and there are definitely hard times, but we're here to 
struggle so we can experience what life is really like. Because the source where we come from, it's love, it's light, it's beautiful. And how can you know what life is real, what those things really are if you don't experience the polar opposite? It's like being a white body in an all white room, white ceiling, white floor. How could you ever know that you're white if all you've ever experienced is being white? You would need to be introduced to another color, for example, purple, to realize that, wow, this contrasts with what I am. I am this. That's what we're here on life to do is to experience things and then come back to that source and explain what we've been through so other people can, you know, realize their life and how it is for them, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> yes, don't get caught up in the illusion. Earth is nothing but a school. We're here to learn all of these lessons. And if you had a terrible experience, right, and you're talking to someone and you tell them, yeah, I didn't experience, I didn't learn anything, then you're just going to have to repeat the grade. It's just like in school. If you didn't learn anything, you're going to have to repeat the lesson. And it's like this karmic cycle that goes on and on and on until you realize a lesson, until you've gained something from the experience. So always trying to like find, like I've been through some stuff that you would be like, why would I possibly need to go through that? It's so terrible. And I'm sure a lot of you have also been through, I mean, all of you have gone through things that are terrible and you wish you didn't have to go through. But it's like, try to find the lesson in that because that's how you get over it and that's how you pass on to another level in this universe, in this dimension. <laughs> yeah. And I also wanted to mention that what I realized is this life is so hard. And just by existing, you are achieving. Because compared to, <laughs> I'm going to sound crazy, compared to other dimensions, other planets, they have their own system and it's very different from ours. And ours is much harder. Like our life here on earth is the last chapter in our chapter of the soul. So... You know, if you're having a bad day or if you're having a bad month or a bad year and you can't really seem to do anything with your life, know that you are valued just because you are existing. Just because you're here means that you have achieved something. <sighs> yeah, so take that as it resonates and know that everything is okay. That life here is, is only temporary and there's so much to see and so much to explore in another realm and I know this kind of may be a morbid subject but for me death isn't morbid um, that's what I've realized it's because it's only the end of this chapter and we're going to go on to something more beautiful and more amazing that we can't even comprehend I believe that this is truth that there is truth to there being something greater than us in this world and that there's something else that's going to happen after um, I'm very spiritual in that regard, I guess. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick, how many minutes? Yeah, this <laughs> video. Um, know that everything's going to be okay in life and just have fun. Don't take life too seriously. Um, I know that's like kind of weird for me to say, but I hope that whatever bad time you're going through, you get out of it stronger and healthier than ever before. And I hope that we can all do that and one day share our stories around a campfire and laugh about, the, about them. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know when I'm releasing new videos. Because I think I'm going to be more active on here. I'm feeling good about it. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye. Love you guys so much.